Lisi, ain't it? Hello, everybody. You guys all right? You guys having fun? Join yourselves. Please give up one more time. Uh, Trey Lip, is Trey Lip, right? Trey Lip and Jaws, please. That was amazing. Jaws, you always get every time I see you, man. Good shit. I love seeing that kind of shit. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, Modesto supporting arts. It's very rare and awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, I am a, a stand-up comic. I travel on the road a lot. Um, I'm constantly having to defend where the fuck I'm from, uh, Modesto. It's not an easy thing, by the way. Um, but I always do. I love my town. Because of shit like this. There's artists just having fun, enjoying themselves. You guys are drinking. Is anybody fucked up yet on a Wednesday? You wasted? I'm fucked up. I've been drunk. Is it Thursday? That's how fucked up I am. I lost a day. I have lost a whole day already. It's Thursday? I don't know. I'm just used to seeing case Sizzle's black ass on Wednesday, so I thought it was Wednesday. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Damn. I'm drinking. I like it, man. I go on the road. I always have to defend Modesto. I always have to remind people. They're like, what's from there besides tweakers? Whenever I'm in San Francisco. They always try to trash us for having drug addicts where we're from. Which, by the way, is a great thing. I know it sounds uh, weird, but San Francisco is riddled with homeless people. They're awful. They just shuffle in front of businesses and walk out in the middle of the street. They're disgusting. Tweakers are great. You know why? Because they go home after they're done tweaking. They got places to go, things to do. <laughs> Copper to steal, whatever they're doing. They got shit. They're not going to sleep in the street. They're not animals. It's great. San Francisco's not that great. It really is a shitty town. I'm there all the time. It stinks. I always ask people, what's so great about your town? They're like, well, there's a lot of places to eat. That's it? That's your big get? The Twitter's here. Oh, that'll survive an apocalypse. That's fantastic. That's great. That's what I always think about an apocalypse setting. Who would survive an apocalypse? An agricultural town that breeds its own fucking food? Or a town made up of Bank of Americas and Twitters and Facebooks? Yeah, let's be honest. They got one bridge out of the town. There's already traffic. What do you think's gonna happen when flesh eaters are running about? What the fuck is wrong with them? It's not a good town. It's always 62 degrees. It's disgusting. They're like, yeah, it's summer. I'm wearing jeans. I'm like, ah, oh, you just live next to water. You can't even get in without a wetsuit. The town sucks. It's a horrible town. I don't see the fun in it. They're like, yeah, it's fun to visit. That's what it's fun to do. It's fun to look at and laugh at the weird, oh, look at the, look at the homeless man with his, he's a ventriloquist too. Oh, we were just laughing at people dying of starvation. Yeah, the bush man, he's hilarious. He jumps out, he scares white people and you go, ah. Oh. That's what your town's built on, huh? The bush man. All right. Wow, what a town. I always tell people, I'm like, you know the world's largest winery is from where I'm from, right? The world's largest. We're not even, the number two winery isn't even fucking on the radar. We're number one. We love drinking in this fucking town. We get wasted. Yeah, and people don't know about Gallo wines. They just assume it's the, the, the Gallo vineyard. That's what they always assume. It's just Gallo family that you guys make, right? I'm like, no. Have you ever had Boone's Farm? Huh? You ever had the good shit? Night Train, if you're homeless? Thunderbird, eh? Some of Modesto's finest for 75 cents? <laughs> Get you wasted. That's the best. That's the greatest. Oh. I like drinking and driving. That's a fun thing you could do in this town. Can't do in San Francisco. Can't do that there. Like, you can't do that here, but it's kind of like, eh, we understand. Right? It's not like, like you shouldn't, but it's alright. It's, you know. Like, I, and I'm not like for drinking and driving, by the way. I'm just not against it, if that makes any sense. Uh, like, I'm not gonna be part of a group that tries to stop it or no shit like that. Like, have you ever heard of the group Mad? You ever heard of Mad Mothers Against Fun or whatever it's called? Uh, yeah. Like, that's a real group that gets together every week and discuss shit. I don't know what they do. Thanks. And you know what I realized? They don't. There's no dads against shit. That's what I was thinking about when I heard about Mad. I was like, where are the dads against anything? They're not against anything. <laughs> and even if dads were against anything, where would they meet? Probably at a bar and just get drunk. <laughs> and just get wasted and talk about their wives at another fucking meeting. <laughs> oh, you hear where Sue's at? Yeah, she's mad about something. I don't know. That bitch is always angry. <laughs> Mother's against taking out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> the best man I seen a lady on the freeway she had a mad sticker uh, on the back of her on the back of her van right I was driving on the freeway she had a mad sticker on the back of her van so I knew she was serious and I drove up next to her and she was text messaging she was texting and I 
was like, what kind of hypocrite? I got so mad, I almost threw my beer at this bitch. That's how mad I got. Yeah, because somebody had to teach her a lesson. And I felt like it was me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit, I pay taxes. Uh, I'm getting older now, I gotta get rid of that. I'm getting older now, I'm turning, uh, and when I say older, I know there's gonna be older people that uh, try to trash me, but I, I'm turning 27 in a couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah, you see, hold on. Now hear me out. Hear me out why I say I'm getting older. Because 27 is a dog shit age to turn. It's awful. It's a horrible age. Let me explain why. Because 27, you have to, quote unquote, as my mother likes to say, get your shit together. Right? They always say that. You should have your shit together by now. But then if you try to have an opinion on anything, they go, you're 27, you don't know shit about life. What the fuck? I pay bills? I don't know. And like I'm getting, now I, like I, everything's straight, my, like I pay bills, and like I'm not, like I know I'm getting older because I'm not afraid of cops anymore, like I'm not scared. I just drive down the road, I'm like, so what? Pull me over, I'm fine. You know? Cop pulled me over the other day, and he asked me, sir, you have your license? And I was disappointed in myself, I went, yeah, I do. This isn't fun anymore, I used to be scared when you were behind me because all my traffic tickets, here you go, here's my perfect license, officer. You been drinking tonight? No, it's no, I haven't actually. The one time you caught me, I'm being a responsible adult. I'm on my way to pay my fucking MID. God damn it. Hate being responsible. Shit. And I'm like pedophile age now, which I know sounds weird, but I'm 27. Like people, like I, I still think I'm a kid. Like I go to amusement parks, right? And I still try to be a kid. Like I'll ride rides alone because my girl's a fucking scaredy cat. She doesn't like riding rides. So I ride rides alone, but I still think I'm a child. Like I'll jump on a ride all alone and I'll be hands up like, woo! And I have to realize how old I look because I'd be like a kid next to me. I'd be like, fuck yeah, buddy. This ride's awesome, isn't it? And the kid just looks at me like, I'm not supposed to talk to you. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I have a, I have a lollipop in my mouth while I'm writing this. This is terrifying looking. I'm sorry. I'm trying to live out my childhood dreams. I'm just scared. <laughs> Let's, uh, I don't know how much time I have, but I'll just, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna track real quick. Uh, I'm in a relationship that I've been in for seven years. Um, yeah, and I'm in love. Uh, I got trapped. I'm not really in love. I got trapped. Yeah, yeah. Guys laugh. Women maw. Oh, that's mean. That's the truth. Guys, we got trash. You tricked me. Yeah. You wanna know how a man isn't into love? You wanna know how a man isn't into love? Let me tell you something a man has never said ever. This is for real. A man has never said this in his whole life. Man, this is my dream wedding. <laughs> this is the wedding I thought about when I was a little boy. <laughs> no man has ever said that. You know what a dream wedding for a man is? No wedding. None. Not one at all. Just alone and sad. Jacking off. That's a, my kind of wedding. Eat some cake after. <laughs> and I realize my girlfriend's ready to get married, by the way. I realize we're ready, maybe at some point, get married. Uh, because she, she caught me, no, we're not, seven years in. I mean, I tell her we're thinking about it. Like, she just, <laughs> seven years is like, ah, maybe. Uh, but I realize she's ready to. Um, are there any kids in here? Are there kids? Oh, God damn it. You really ruined the fun. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. But I was gonna tell a horrific jack-off story until they pointed you out. <laughs> I just feel guilty and the pedophile thing's coming back on. I feel like I'm on the front of the ride again. God damn it. All right, I'll end on this quickly. Uh, Cause now I, now I have to dive in. I don't want to talk about that. I won't be able to sleep at night. All right, what do I talk about? All right, I'll leave with this, I'll leave with this. Um, it's just, just as horrific. My girlfriend, wants, my girlfriend wants me to show her love a lot of times and uh, I don't know how to show love. The only way I know how to show love is by spending time with her, right? Not saying it, but she got me to spend time with her by watching TV with her. I watched TV with her the other night, and she got me to watch a TV show with her about a woman that had one arm. It made no sense to me. It made all the sense in the world to her. She loved the show, right? She's watching the show. She tells me, what do you think about the show? It's just about a lady with one arm. It means nothing to me. I don't know what the fuck that means. And then she says, if I had one arm, would you still love me if I was like her? And I said, absolutely not. How dare you? Are you crazy? I don't have a lot of standards. Two arms is one of them. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I love you, sweetie. But what are you gonna do when we have to move, right? I'm not gonna pick up all the boxes and you're gonna hold light ones like a waitress? Absolutely not. No. What if we have couples game night at another couple friend's house and now my girl doesn't have a one arm and they pull Twister out and then I gotta look at him like, you didn't fucking see? He just created a three-day argument with me and old slot machine over here. I gotta dig myself out. Hey, you guys, my name's Anthony K. I appreciate it. Hey, you guys. Hey, make some more noise for Anthony K, man.